I'm going to assume <laughs> that's right, right? I think so. I think that's what Nate's so telling you, us too. So you didn't write those words either? I didn't write those words either. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. So that came from you. Yeah, yes, they did. Yes. Yeah, we are expecting uh, some storms and we're expecting possibly some severe weather on Wednesday. We've declared a weather aware day for Wednesday. What that means for the potential for some showers and thunderstorms, especially some severe weather as we go through Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. We'll break down the chances for you in just one second. Let's talk about though what we're tracking for tonight. It is a wet last day of fall. The winter solstice in just about half an hour or so marks the end of fall and the beginning of winter. Kind of snuck up on us. Hadn't felt like winter around here for the last few days. Potential storms. We could see some severe weather as well. We'll break down those chances too. And after that, on Wednesday, a warm and rainy Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Details ahead in your storm track seven day forecast. We've had to deal with some rain today, off and on this morning and during the afternoon, but we've seen some heavier rain tonight. It's all moving from southwest to northeast. We zero in some of the heavier rain now falling in Jefferson County, closer to the Birmingham Metro, kind of a heavier batch of rain set to move into the Metro and also north into uh, Blunt and St. Clair counties here over the next half hour or so. And temperatures are going to be very mild with lots of cloud cover and the rainfall around. Don't expect these temperatures right here to move too much during the overnight period. So we're going to stay in the 60s, right near that 60 degree mark for basically everybody in central Alabama overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. So. Storm track future cast shows all the rain around for tonight, but it's over the next 24 hours where things are really going to have to unfold and in a certain way for there to be a severe storm potential. So let's talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow morning should see the rain come to an end, and I think we just see spotty showers and no thunderstorms on Tuesday. So that's a little bit of a break, and we'll see a lot of cloud cover, though. By Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we see those showers ramp up once again. And then kind of a lull in the action on Wednesday. If we see severe weather, it will most likely be Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. But you see, future cast is not painting too aggressive of a picture for severe weather chances on Wednesday. Just a few isolated uh, thunderstorms, and that's really about it. So what are the limiting factors? Well, there's going to be plenty of Gulf moisture at the surface streaming in. Now, that will happen if storm development down to our south kind of uh, doesn't happen. Now, that is going to be the big limiting factor. If we see a lot of rainfall down to our south on Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon, we're not going to see a whole lot of uh, strong storms around here. And that's what our future cast is kind of painting right now. The fact that we're not going to see too much in the way of moisture getting into the area because it's all going to be trapped down to the south. So that's a little bit of good news, but of course, things can change. We'll keep you updated for the next 24 hours or so. We'll have a lot better idea about things tomorrow. 60 degrees for tonight, more showers, cloudy and mild. Then for tomorrow afternoon, we'll see temperatures right near 70 with scattered showers, cloudy and warmer conditions. The storm track seven day forecast starts off with that weather aware day on Wednesday. And we'll have a better idea of what we can expect as far as pot potential impacts tomorrow. So stay tuned on Thursday, Christmas Eve, Friday, Christmas Day. We still see rainfall in the forecast with temperatures in the 70s through the weekend. Finally, those rain chances start to slack off by Sunday and Monday.